Hello everybody, this is Tekka. This is going to be part 3 in my series of world edit tutorials. Last tutorial I went over getting this GUI to help you out with world edit. And now I'm going to be going over some more of the selection features with world edit. Now you do know your basic selection feature that I showed you in the last video with the wand. You just select one corner and select the other corner and it will select everything within the radius that you've done. And then I can like set one and then everything in that radius will change. But what I'm going to show you now is some of the other methods for selection. So the first one is selecting at your location with the command. So if I wanted to select here, for example, I could type pose 1, and then that would select that position. Let's say I wanted to select down here, I would just do pose 2, and then that would select that area. So then I can do what I wanted in there, and so on and so forth. So I can undo that. And now if you don't want to fly all the way to the area you want to select, and you want to select with your crosshairs, you can do that as well with the H pose. So I can look over here at that cactus, do forward slash H pose 1, and that will select that cactus. And then I can do the same thing right on this cactus, so I can do H pose 2, and then that will select that area, and then I can do set 0 and then that will get rid of all those cactuses in that area. Now we can also select the chunk by just typing forward slash forward slash chunk and that will select the chunk that you're in so then it selects all the way vertical for the chunk that you're in. And then we can adjust the selection so let's say I selected over here I just selected here and here just this little 2x2 two two area, so 4 blocks. And let's say I want to expand it, let's say 5 that way. All I would do is I would stand at my selection and do expand 5. And that would expand it 5 the, well, it would expand it 5 in the direction that I am looking. So then I could go right here and do expand 6, and it will expand the entire thing 6 in that direction. Now let's say you don't want to turn and look in every direction. You could also do expand 20 north and then it will expand 20 to the north and you could do west, south, and east as well. And you can also do up and down. So I could do expand 5 up and that will do that. Same for up and down. And then you could also do expand vert, so to the lowest level and to the highest level. So if I just do expand vert, it will expand it all the way up and all the way down. And now you can do the same thing, but you can contract the selection. So let's say I selected all this area, and I only wanted it to be to the second level of the cactus. So what I would do is I would do contract, so con contract, and I want to contract it one down, and I would contract it one down, and you could do the same in every direction and every amount, just like expanding the selection. Now you can also shift selections, so you could do it the same exact way by looking in the direction you want to shift it. So I could do shift, and I want to shift it, let's say 10 over there, and it would move the whole entire selection 10 that way. I could also do shift up, actually shift 10 up, and that would shift it just like that, and you can also do down, north, south, east, and west. And now you can get some information on your selection. So I have it selected up there, and actually I'm going to uh, shift it back down, so it's back where I had it originally. And to get some information, there's some commands we could type, so I could type um, size type of selection I have, the positions they're in, and the exact size for the selection. It will give me the distance and the number of blocks in my selection. And then I could do count, so I can count for a certain type of block. So if I do count sand, it will tell me how much sand is in my selection. You can do that with any type of block, and you can use item IDs as well. And then you can find the block distribution by typing forward slash forward slash dis TR, and that will tell you the type of blocks that are in your region, the percent of those blocks, and the amount of blocks as you can see here. 
And the last thing I'm going to go over is the selecting modes. Now right now by default, and the mode you're probably going to use the most is the cuboid, which I have it on now as you can see. When you select things, it forms a cube. And there actually are other ones that a lot of people don't know about. If you do a... I'm going to change it to a polygon. So if I do forward slash S-E-L and I do poly, so P-O-L-Y, it will change the selection type to a polygon. Now as you can see, it changes a lot. If I select it just like this, it will do that kind of shape. And I could do um, the same method. So I could do expand 10 up, and it will do that. And if I fill it, set 1, it will fill it like so. That's, so that's really helpful for building things. If you're going to make some natural landscapes, you could do that. Or you can make it exactly how it's intended on. So you can just build a circle, like so, or a polygon as originally intended, and then you can expand that 10 up, oops, expand 10 up, and then set 1, and then that will fill in that region. So things like that are really helpful for just building structures. And there are other ones. And then we have Sphere, which a lot of people love to use. So you just do, do SEL and then Sphere. And then that will select the Sphere. So I can click and then I can expand it how I would like to. So as you can see, that makes a Sphere. And then I can set whatever block I want it to be in the Sphere. And then that will create a perfectly good sphere. And then you could do things like expand 10 up. And then you can select really cool shapes and do things like that. And then we have the very, very last thing, which is the cylinder. So it's just forward slash forward slash S E L and then S Y L. And then we can click anywhere we want and then it will create a perfect cylinder. So this is this could be good for uh, making things such as the uh, ground at a spawn or something like that, just giving examples. And then you can set one, and then you can obviously expand it in any direction and use it however you please. So that is about it for some of the selection tools and methods, just overall general selecting uh, different shapes, uh, information commands, and things like that. So I hope this video has helped you in some sort of way. I have other world edit tutorials. This will be in the playlist. There will be a link to the playlist in the description. Please comment for any purpose you have. Please rate the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos like this. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.